Alright guys, let's go ahead and um, design this crown lay on tooth number 13. Put your name and um, denote to me that it's going to be a crown lay. Or just put 13. We're going to do crown, library A, material empress, that's super important, empress HT. Because we're actually going to take this to mill, so make sure you guys just jot that down that it's going to be Empress HT. Now we're going to start scanning. Um, let it sit at the top down view for a couple seconds, like I did, and then start to get the occlusals, get that whole molar, and maybe up to a little bit of the canine, like that. And now you could start doing your rolls. Um, slowly roll. Um, the faster you roll, the worse you'll be. So now we're getting the buckles up to that canine. At this view, it's tricky. You have to rotate that camera to try to peer into the interproximal locations of the adjacent teeth. And now you could do your lingual roll. You should be pretty much better than me at scanning by now with all the bajillion things that you've scanned. And uh, the whole goal is to hope this translates into y'all doing excellent final impressions in the clinic with, with any kind of scanner that we have. All right, so that should be about it for the final impression. One last little roll to get the interproximals. It took about a minute. So rotate the model around, be critical. Make sure there's no funky things on your preparation. Highlight your low data with your data density view and look for blue spots on your prep and stuff like that. And we're okay. So we're gonna move on to the opposing. Once again, the opposing, you just really need the occlusals and the buckle. Try to get a little bit of that tissue past the CEJ. That kind of helps with the automatic articulation. And make sure you always start scanning from the top down occlusal view. Now we're on our bite, and that's a zigzag pattern. And the tip is, uh, obviously you're coming from the patient's front of the mouth, not the, the throat. Okay, so we have the bite. We're going to check it and see if it's articulated correctly, and it looks pretty good. Get out of that bite tab and go ahead and click your margin tab. Orientation is just looking straight down, not crooked like that or like that. So you want to make sure that the, you're looking straight down at your prep, and you see the full thickness of your finish line all the way around, nice and even. Lock that in, and now let's try lasso. Click to start, and then slowly drag with the pencil tip on the inside of the margin, not the outside like that. And then click on that last ball that you started with, and just drag your margin in any areas that you see a discrepancy. Okay. Now design, alt, up arrow, and then reposition that tooth to where it is good, and then hit apply. Awesome. So in this particular instance, we got a pretty nice proposal, but clinically, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. So what if you got this? What if that's what Autogenesis proposed? What you need to do and this is what I want you to do, is click that button off right there. This button is off. Alt up arrow, position your tooth to where it is nice in the arch. Marginal ridges are lined up, cuss tips are lined up, hit apply. And now it doesn't do any kind of automatic um, thing except the margins. Everything else is, it keeps the anatomy perfect. And so then you should just like rubber tooth the proximal contacts. That's about it. Okay, so that's a trick to keep some nicer anatomy in the proposals. And now I'm just getting the cuss tips lined up, marginal ridges lined up. Good. We're going to go ahead and uh, broaden that lingual cusp a little bit and then throw on the bite. Double click to make it clear. Now turn on your contact strength button right there 
and go to your Byte Adjustment tab. That's the bottom most tab there. Click um, negative 250 for your non-functional cusps. Okay, maybe click it again, obviously. There, so we're taking those out. We've maintained that functional cusp contact. If you want it to check and make sure, you can put that on negative 115 and circle it just to make sure it's at the proper. Now check your thickness. Um, I have a thin spot. So I'm going to try to rubber tooth that little area back up. Try to make it green. Yeah. Green is good. Good. Now we have to recheck the bite because I might have introduced uh, a cusp contact on that inclined plane, which is not cool. So here we go. I have not exactly in that area, but on the other side I have. So we're going to circle those down. Try to make that negative go back and make that a negative 250 and circle that one last time right there. Good. Check our thickness again. We're all green. Perfect. Now we're going to do our proximal contacts. Um, I like to just use the smooth tool on maximum strength and just tap it a couple times. So you just want it to be um, blue with a speckle of that teal green, not the true green. So it's like a teal aqua green right there. Not that bright green right there. That's too heavy. So just showing you all what the wrong color green is. It's supposed to be that kind of aqua green. Great. And then we're ready to go to the mill tab. Um, I like to sometimes just put a little dropper bead of uh, ceramic right on the margin. Real quick. Really quick. Don't linger and just the default dropper setting. And now we're gonna to go to the mill tab. Trim the model by hitting that icon right here. So you're just looking at your crown and then use this little um, blue compass dial here and rotate around until you get a sprue where you want it. You don't want it at an interproximal contact and you don't want it so close to your margin that you could barely um, get any separation. So this is at a proximal contact that's not bad. You have a little bit of distance here between your margin and your sprue. And so you just kind of play with it. You can't move it up or down. You can, oh, that's perfect right there. See, it's not at a proximal contact, and it's pretty far away from the margin. I-12 vertical is the size you must put. Send to mill and hit OK. Successfully sent your restoration. Should show up, and you're free to go after that. Okay, so I-12 vertical send to mill, hit OK, and then it should say successfully sent your restoration. Um, we are going to mill these for the next couple weeks and we're going to polish them and bond them onto your um, preparations that you all did um, very good job on. So we will um, just be, this is probably our last homework assignment as it relates to designing anything. Um, and we are going to be focusing more for the rest of the semester on clinical things and working on your speed with your preps, okay? So I do apologize for giving you another homework assignment, but um, this should be the last, last burden that you have.